Hey there, I have a science uh, read aloud for you today. So this is a science video um, about seeds turning into plants. So we have a video of me putting lima beans in a paper towel and putting them on my window. We're gonna check those out after we read this story. All right, so go ahead and snuggle up for a story. From Seed to Plant by Gail Gibson. Most plants make seeds. A seed contains the beginning of a new plant. Seeds are different shapes, sizes, and colors. All seeds grow into the same kind of plant that made them. So that's kind of like uh, if a mommy puppy's having babies or if mommy dog's having babies, those are gonna be dog puppies. Or if a human mom is having a baby, it's gonna be a human. So just like a sunflower seed is gonna grow into a sunflower because that's what it came from. Many plants grow flowers. Flowers are where most seeds begin. A flower is made up of many parts. Petals, the stem, there's different, the different parts that have the pollen, and the pistil, and the stamens. Before a seed can begin to grow, a grain of pollen from the st uh, stamen must land on the stigma at the top of the pistil of a flower like itself. This is called pollination. Pollination happens in different ways. Often wind blows pollen from flower to flower. You can see the wind's blowing it over. It's pollinating. Bees, other insects, Humming and hummingbirds helped pollinate too. While they visit flowers for their sweet juice called nectar, pollen rubs onto their bodies. You can see on the bee, there's pollen on his belly and there's pollen on the hummingbird's belly. Then they carry the pollen to another flower where it comes off. So there's the bee rubbing the pollen off and they don't even mean to, these animals just end up being what we call pollinators. And they're very important because they help uh, fruit and other really important fruits and uh, vegetables grow. And they're, um, they accidentally kind of touch the pollen to, from one plant to another and uh, they pollinate. It's really important. If a pollen grain from a flower lands on a pistil of the same kind of flower, it grows a long tube through the pistil into the up ovule at the beginning of a seed. So that's where the seed is growing from the pollen. The seeds grow inside the flower even as the flower begins to die. As the seeds become bigger, a fruit or a pod grows around them. The fruit or pod protects the seed. So um, if you can think of apple seeds, the fruit grows around from the flower. The fruit grows around the seed to protect it and to give it nutrients. Um, Peaches and plums, those big pits in the center, those are the seeds. Avocados, um, even bananas, if you look inside them, have little tiny black seeds. When the fruit or pod ripens, it breaks open. The seeds are ready to become new plants. Some seeds fall into the ground around the base of the plant where they will grow. Some pods or fruits open and the seeds pop out. Sometimes when birds eat berries, they drop the seeds. Other seeds fall into streams, ponds, and rivers and oceans. They are there, they travel on the water until they stick along the dirt somewhere. So, or in the sand, I guess. So if you see this coconut was floating along and it got stuck in the sand, and now it's starting to grow just like the other coconut trees. So maybe that coconut tree is dropping coconuts and they're floating and going right into uh, the sand somewhere else. The wind scatters seeds. Some seeds have fluff on them 
that lets them float to the ground like tiny parachutes. Others have wings that spin and fall. I'm sure you've probably seen these, uh, I used to call them wish flowers, but the dandelion seeds that sprout and fall. Animals help scatter seeds too. They hide acorns and nuts in the ground. Some seeds have hooks and they stick on the fur of animals or people's clothing. Later, they drop off into the ground. So maybe sometimes you walk in the woods or outside in the grass and a seed from another plant might catch on your shoe or your pants and they fall off later and that's how they get planted to a new place. And a lot of squirrels uh, bury their acorns and if they forget about them, uh, they grow into being uh, oak trees. So they kind of planted a little tree. A flower bed or vegetable garden is beautiful. Seeds are planted to grow in the garden. The seeds come in a small envelope, just like this one. That's a little envelope. Or a box. Directions explain how to plant the seed and care for the plant. So on the back, there's all these words that tell me how to grow the plant, where to grow the plant, and what to do to grow the plant. Some people stick them into the garden so they know what they planted. I can show you an example of that that I have uh, behind me. The beginning of a plant is curled up inside each seed. Food is stored inside the seed too. The seed has a seed coat and the outside to protect it. So this is a bean, just like our lima beans here. So the inside um, is the food for the seed to grow. This is the beginning of the plant and this is the seed coat. So let's take a look at the seed. I have one right here. And if I broke it open, let's see if I can go ahead and do that. There we go, I hear a little crack. Mm. Let's see, maybe it's not gonna open for me. There we go. All right, so you can see this half of the seed. Let's see, let's see if I can show you more clearly. So this half of the seed has a little tiny uh, part of a plant right there. And it's got this liner on it, the seed coat. So we've got the little seed coat that peels off of it. See that? And it's got this little tiny plant starting right there. And if I plant it in water, it softens up and grows. And we'll take a look at my lima bean in a second. The seed will not sprout until certain things happen. First, it must be on or in the soil. So the soil's the dirt. Then the, it needs to rain and to soak the seed and soften the seed coat. So this part on the outside gets nice and soft and it'll let the plant out. When the sun shines, it warms the ground. The seed coat breaks open and the seed begins to grow. This is called germination. A root grows down into the soil and the root takes up water and minerals from the soil for food. So again, soil is just another name for the dirt. So with the roots are growing down and the little plants coming up. So the roots uh, not only bring up nutrients and water for the plant, they also keep the plant in the ground so the wind doesn't just blow it away or an animal doesn't just come and pluck it out. So the stronger the roots, the better the plant stays in the soil. Up grows a shoot. Green leaves grow up from the shoot towards the sun. So this is the sun up there, soil down here. The seed coat is kind of falling away. The roots are growing uh, lower to the ground and sticking out further. And the shoot is getting up higher so it can get closer to the sun and the leaves are opening up so they can absorb the heat from the sun and um, make food. The plant grows bigger and bigger. The leaves make food for the plant from the water and the minerals in the soil, the sunlight and the air all around the plant. So that's called photosynthesis. That's how the plant makes its food. We make eat our food and we turn that into energy and they use the sun to turn um, all the things that they pull in into energy to grow. So photosynthesis is what they do with their leaves. Finally, the plant is full grown. Buds on the plant open into flowers where new seeds will grow. So now it's got the buds that have turned into flowers and it'll make its own new seed. 
and it's called the life cycle of a plant. And it'll just keep growing new seeds and new plants. Many of the foods people eat are seeds, fruits, and pods. These are full of nutrient or nutrition, vitamins, and minerals. Do you see any of the fruits and vegetables you eat? See some tomatoes and strawberries, some green beans, zucchini, carrots. All of these things are um, different plants. They're different seeds and pods. Nuts and things like that are also seeds. They are tasty too. All right, so this is a little from Seed to Plant Project that I actually did in another video that you can watch. Um, and we're gonna, so first they planted it in paper and they put it in a glass jar. I didn't put mine in a glass jar, I put mine in a plastic bag and I taped it to the window because I don't have anywhere to put my plant. So I'm gonna grab it for us. You can come over with me. And you can see I've got my plant right here. They're bigger than they were. I'm gonna take it down. All right, I've got my plant. And put you down here. All right, I'm gonna open it up. And show you inside my seeds have grown. The seed coat, this one's a good one. The seed coat has softened and it's opened up. And it's growing a little tiny stem. So it went from being this little to getting much larger. It grew. This was hard, this one's soft and it's now growing a stem. So I'll put it back in the paper towel with its little buddies in there. And when it gets, oh, I can show you the other ones too. This one's got a long stem. As it gets bigger, and I can see it's growing, wants to grow some roots. It's kind of fuzzy, it's kind of hard to see. Um, the other one looks the same. When it starts to get a little bit bigger, I can take it out of the wet paper towel and I can plant it in the dirt and it's gonna put roots down and I'll put it in the sun and I'll water it because it's inside. Or I could plant it outside and it could get water from the rain and continue to grow. So there's our little um, lima bean project growing along. I'll tape it back on the window and I wanna show you some other plants I've been growing. And here we go. So I have a grow lamp on them, but they are growing little tiny, if you can see them right in there, little tiny sprouts. And I labeled what they are because they all kind of look the same. So I put the little name tags on them so I know that this one's basil and this one's spearmint so I could tell what things are. And they're growing with this heat lamp right here. And I put this uh, coat over top of them with plastic wrap to keep them nice and toasty and keep them the moisture in, the water in. And they're just planted in some soil, which we also call dirt. And I have some lettuce here growing too in my soil. So it's planted in the soil, I water it, and um, I can actually pluck that off and I can eat it in a salad. But all right, friends, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more science videos. Bye-bye.